Hey guys, this is DFD, aka Dark Frozen Devs, back with another Comedy Hime Project video. Now, this one is different. I'm going to end up doing the re-roll guy, because I've been asked for that a few times. So, and who you should aim for is my personal opinion, because the guy will probably say something different. But, the process is still generally the same. So, first and foremost, you want to create an email or whatever. And my suggestion, you copy-paste your email with this plus thing. I'm already on plus three because I tried to record this video, but it screwed up. But just remove the plus and then enter four when you create a new email. Make sure you can create this email, too, so you can actually verify it. But, um... So whatever email you come up with, make sure you can actually create it. So don't just enter stuff randomly. Double check on like Google or whatever email website. Then you come in here. I've already I've already skipped past the tutorial thing. There's a thing where you can hit start game. And then the very first screen, hit skip tutorial. It'll let you skip all that crap. You get all your logins or whatever. For some weird reason, there seems to be an error message every time you try to... um start it the first time so when you go into this mailbox to try and claim your stuff it will error message send you back to the screen just reload it it will be fine the next time now then what you're really here for is pulling on stuff you can't do any of this stuff basically without paying you can't do any of these star coin things without paying this save your ssr kamihime ticket because i would save it after you've done your magic jewels Speaking of which, there are these magic jewels with the step-ups. You can indeed get a lot of pools from them. However, it is very, very easy to get more magic jewels. Especially with logins. So that said, I would go to where it says drop rate up. <coughs> Excuse me. I would go to drop rate up and do these 3,000 pools. And keep in mind, I'm doing this on Nutaku.com, but you can do it on .NET as well. It doesn't matter which one. I would save your step ups for after you got a really good good um starter pool. Now I didn't get anything here. Maybe the second one will do something good. The pool rates though are kind of low for specific characters. The SSR rate is three percent, so you got like. Like, every three ten draws, three or four ten draws, you should see an SSR character. However, it doesn't necessarily mean you'll get something good. Like, see, that wasn't worth crap either. If I really want to, I could sip and do that, but the thousand would sip and be step one of the other one, so I wouldn't even worry about it. So, I would consider this a dud, but let's go one step further. Toss this SSR Kamihime ticket, see if it pulls anything. It will give you an SSR character, but the Adolans is what you really want. And you will see lots and lots of Kamihime pop out of these things. You should, anyways. Because there's tons of R, tons of SR. Tons of SSR. This is actually a very good weapon. But, um, the character's not all that great, if you ask me. But, um, didn't get anything, really. Now then. Gotcha characters that are, wor that are um, you're aiming for. Honestly, there's tons of good SSR weapon weapons and characters from um, the Kamehameha side. I wouldn't worry about it too much. I don't want this what you want for a very good start, because of the fact that you can pull those SSR characters later on. Now then. Pools that are good... But you still want other stuff. Would be Gembu. Any of these ones that have the Dragoon in their SSR. Bayako. Suzuku. And Seiryu. Those are all good support Eidolons. As in, they go in your sub slots. What you want are good main ones. And I will say this out the gate 
from Anubis over to Belial all the way across to this middle row and down here to Cerberus. Those are the good starter Eidolons because they give 100% or more to an element. However, me personally, this is the one you want for a starter. Because there is a very good chance you are not going to be able to make very good teams of one single element out the gate. That said, she's very good because she'll give you a massive elemental boost across the board. Well, it's not even elemental with special attack, but it's a massive boost across the board. It's still 100% another multiplier. You're probably going to have mixed element at the start. You do want to eventually focus on a single element per team. But because she works regardless of element, as long as you set her up her correctly, she works very good. What I mean by set her up correctly is this. It's like, they probably still auto-set your stuff because this is like scripted. In fact, they even give you end weapons from the, the gym gacha. You don't even get that anymore. That's why I said it's scripted. So you will be guaranteed to get Ignis. But, um, okay, so I got two fire. Let's see here. I will toss in a white character, and I've already got the effect for um, SSR Diabolus because I need three different elements, basically, because she's going to be fired th thanks to her weapon. So, there's that. However, if I really wanted to focus on one element, I would do something like this. There's, like, two white characters here. I will toss in a wing character. And I will give myself a white weapon if I can, but I can't. But that's the whole example of all of that, basically. You want to want three of one element, if possible, and then two sad elements. So, you didn't get anything you wanted. So you didn't get anything you wanted. What you want to do... Go all the way down. You can kill the other tab. Go down the profile. Go into how do I close my account. Hit this link. Proceed to kill the account you've made. And there you go. Because Nutaku has got a thing where they just don't want to get flooded with accounts. So quite frankly, it's best just to close it. Especially since you're going to have a dead account anyways. That you're not really going to use. So there you go. When you're making an account... Like I said, copy paste. This one I can just have as four. The starter screen for it is going to look a little bit different, but the process is the same. Put in whatever username you're having, whatever password you're having, hit start playing. Now, the thing is, if you do this too much, you might get IP blocked. Best to find an IP spoofer or anything that can sip and like alter to hide your IP or you get a VPN or even something like that. But go in and play now. I don't do the notification emails. It's like go in, hit play game. This is what the starter screen is going to look like. You do not have to sit through the tutorial, just hit start game. Hit skip all. It's going to send you right to the main screen. Where you'll start getting login bonuses and all that type of stuff too. There's a few campaigns so you'll get flooded with stuff. You can hit skip on the new equipment. Also, they do advertise Tower of Malice. Do not worry about it if you're sitting up starting an account because of the simple fact that you're not going to be strong enough to do much of crap on it. So, you can indeed try and see how far you get, but you're not going to get too much of anything. But this is what I'm talking about. See how it has this dual 7 on the box? For some weird reason, if you skip the tutorial, it always does this error message the first time you try to access your box.
but just hit start game, just go right back into it, it should work. Now go in here, clean your stuff, and try again. Or try your first time or whatever. Again, save your step ups for later because of the simple fact that these are guaranteed SSR stuff on top of that. It will complement whatever you pull from this Magic Jewel gotcha that costs like 3000 each time. The original 6000 Magic Jewels was intended for this anyways. So okay, nothing good there. Try again. Yeah, there's some more characters coming out. There's a lot of new characters coming out of this one. Now this is all more about patience, because it can take a lot of attempts in order to get something you really want. Their SSR rate might be like 3%, however, it still doesn't change the simple fact that, hey, guess what, um, that 3% is broke down. And quite frankly, this is a good character to actually have one regardless of element, but she's more wind. But, um, again, you're not really aiming for the Kamihime. You're more aiming for the Adolans. And again, it's any of the 100% Adolans or SSR Diablos. Speaking of which... If you don't get SSR Diablos, there's still a nice little backup right here, considering the fact that they make her max out the gate. So she'll still help your other elements a little bit. A little bit. But her SSR version is the one that's really going to give you a lot of good stuff, so... Okay. This failed, so... Me personally, I would just hit support. And then go profile, close the account, click the link, boom. Now I'm going to make one more, because I think I'm getting near the limit for this. I think the limit was like 10 created accounts on one um, IP. I don't know. But this is the last time I'm going to try. If I don't get anything good on camera, that's fine. But, um. Anyways. Start game. Skip all because you don't need to go through the tutorial. It tells you basic stuff, but the interesting thing is the tutorial even shows just how healing works. Because Nikkei can heal up to 750 HP, but she will not heal anywhere near that amount because you're starting off with so low base HP. They also suggest you use the auto set function for, um, for your stuff. Don't do that. Manually set your stuff. Auto set has some very bad AI. In fact, if you ask me, auto anything has bad AI, it's just the fact that auto battle is actually kind of helpful for when you just want to save some time. But here, click this, can't do anything, whoop de doo Now, regardless of whether this is a good one or not, I want to show you where to start off at in order to get some better stuff as well, especially the SSR weapons. Because you will start getting a lot of SSR weapons this way. I don't want to, in fact. But, um... Again, claim your stuff. Whatever. Gotcha. Go into the rate up. Not the SSR guarantee. I just don't realize that weapon said building collection.
you're going to see a gold door. It's just the fact that if you're going to get the SSR or not. In previous attempts that I tried to record, I did indeed pull SSR at Dolan's, but they weren't too great. And this, of course, could still toss you um, a Dolan. I've seen an SSR Dolan pop up from this. Who knows, you might get multiple SSR Kami he make. One is forced. But again, you want more Idolans than Kamihime for SSR. Because for right now, the Kamihime don't get too much of a boost without weapons and Idolans. Weapons and Idolans are your biggest boost in output. But okay, I got random crap. But let's just say I did get something I wanted. Then I go here, claim all my stuff. Now, there's a quick and easy beginner mission you can sip and do. Just go to Gotcha, pull a 10 chain gen Gotcha. They'll give you more stuff. You can even get some R characters and even some SR characters from this as well. Now, then, draw the free Gotcha, give me my gems. Easy 30,000 gems. What you're going to want to do, say, say you got what you wanted, what you're going to want to do, go through the main quest, eventually unlock this epic quest, once you get rank 20. You go into epic quest, you'll sip and spend 10,000 gems, they'll give you an SR character for every epic quest you open up. You're going to want to open up all, grind them out, get some weapons, add doings and all sorts of SSR stuff from that. Epic Quest is your first main target. When you get strong enough, you'll be able to do different types of events and whatnot too. But right now, this is the only event and you're not going to be strong enough for that. You are not. Because this is about re-rolling and you're going to be with a fresh account, so... Also, this is just more proof as to why the, um, the auto set is this crap. Because look what happens when I just do it. I'm going to just hit all, and we'll just toss whatever, see, you can make multiple party setups too, but I'm going to just hit, say, fire, it's still not too great with all that type of stuff, because it'll still toss in any random things, like you got end weapons and all that type of stuff, but however, the beginner missions happen to feed you a very, very good weapon for starting off, because this is assault regardless of element, it's not just dark, you want to keep each of these copies separate so you can get up to 52% assault regardless of element, you'll just be able to upgrade it and whatnot, but anyways, alright, so you happen to get whatever you wanted, that was the time to go for the gotchas that's had the step ups, and I would start with the Adon one, and then just start feeding magic jewels into those. And who knows, you might still see something very good off of it. But anyways, this is the last thing I want to step and show. Rerolling will indeed take some time though. It is not a very quick process. It is something that is time consuming. If you're trying to get a better start, you're going to want to reroll a lot. And the better the more stuff you want at the start, the harder it gets. Oh, there's an SSR I don't want, go figure. She's not a good one, but there you go. Because the interesting thing about her is the fact that she can give you a lot of assault, but that's not what you really want. You you don't want character attack, you just want attack. Or in SSR Diabolus' case, special attack works pretty much like the, the um, elemental attack anyways. Because it'll sip and be in a different multiplier. It works better than an elemental attack, if you ask me, but she'll get out they did eventually. But, um, this one, character attack, not that great. But you've done all that. That's where you start going into starting off the game or whatever. Again, re-rolling takes time. It takes a lot of redraw redraws. 
And my personal opinion, you aim for I don't and if you get a hundred percent I don't or so, say like her or like her, that's fine and good. Those are very hard to pull. Me personally, if you're not too worried about getting something very, very specific, you could stop there and try to work towards those elements if you can. However, my personal opinion, the very best I don't want to start off with is her. Because it's regardless of element. And if you can do something like, say, getting her, and then getting another I don't want like her, you have an even better start. If you ask me, that is one of the best starts, period, point blank, getting two of them. Like getting an elemental 100% and then getting SSR Diabolus, which is a 100% special attack where it'll work on it regardless of element. You'll be set up to boost the other elements as, as well as a main element. And if you even somehow get her on top of it, something like her, that's even better. But the more stuff you get like that, the harder it is to pull all that at once. So it can take a very long time. There are people that have re-rolled into the thousands before they've gotten something good. And then there's other people that re-roll like maybe 20, 30 times and they got something good. It all depends on how far you want to go with this. But anyways, that's all for this. I'm going to kill this last account. But um, that's all for this. I would say more of this would come soon. However, this is all I got to say for the reroll guide. I will try to post the other one in the comments, the one that's on paper. But me personally, aim for SSR Diablos as a start. Aim for her as a start. She is the best de facto starter I don't because of how she works. And combined with those weapons that can give you assault towards any element, that is. 100% special attack, which pretty much acts like a 100% elemental attack, and 52% assault, regardless of element. And you can just get other stuff to fill the gaps. You will eventually replace it, but that is the best start. So, anyways, I'm going to close this account. You've already seen the process. There you go. Now, there's also another guy that I've been asked to do, which is, like, the best SSR Kami Hime and all that type of stuff. Me personally, I don't want to do one of those because they change over time. In fact, some ad some ad doings that we thought were crap were actually useful in other situations. Like that Thunder SSR pool, which is Grim Grimacala or whatever. When you have all the soft caps hit, which is way further down the line, she actually could be of some use. Characters are the same way in some cases because it will get like awakenings or buff changes and all that type of stuff later down the line. I don't want to do a video like that because then I'll have to go back and constantly try to keep updating it. I don't want to do that. So, sorry about that, guys. But there are lots and lots of good SSR Kamihime. There are good Kamihime regardless of rarity. But anyways, that's all for this. More videos on this game is going to come soon, but I am done with the reroll guide. And sorry, but I'm not going to do a character guide. I can do one for add-ons because they won't really change. But anyways, that's all for this. More of those will come soon, and take care.